right, today we're here with Flywalt using some of the amazing accessories for camping and whatever. We've got the beautiful Flywalt pots that's out for the fire, which is made out of enamel. And we're going to run through a quick recipe on making a chicken poiki. So what we're going to need is some potatoes baby carrots, mushrooms, uh, marrows, green beans, onions, garlic and ginger, the chicken of course, and some red pepper. All of this will be cooked as we go along. So what we need for a poiki is uh, hot coals, the fire is almost ready, so just giving it a couple of minutes before we can start. So we're going to start with the poiki now. Um, it's been on the fire or the coals for quite some time now, so it's nice and warm. And we're going to start with some coconut oil as that is my preferred oil smell it beautiful right and we're gonna add some onions thank you yuri nice and hot as you can hear so quickly so it doesn't burn Okay, we're going to now add the ginger, salt, uh, red pepper and our garlic together. You can add all of this together, no issues, it doesn't have to be separately done. And we're going to fry this until it's nice and brown and soft before we add the chicken. Now I'm going to add some chicken masala to this. Uh, I've got no specific measurements. I just add as I feel. It's just the type of person I am. Right, and I'm going to add some cardamom. Just like two spoons for now. And voila! And this will fry until we're ready to add the chicken. So now all the onions and garlic and everything is nice and fried. It's smelling good, isn't it? Yes. And we're going to add the chicken now, get that all fried in and start adding the spices. So chicken's in and we're just going to fry it nicely now for a while, browning it. And before we start adding some chicken stock, which I've already made, which looks a little bit just like a little bit right now <laughs> but we'll add some more water with that right for now I'm gonna add the chicken stock like I said I've already made it earlier I'm gonna add that get that going and I'm just gonna add extra bit of water in here and I'm just going to add a couple of spices now. I'm going to start with some paprika. Once again, go on feeling. I love the inner palm and spices. Right here I've got the meat spice. I'm going to do some garlic pepper, also inner palm and Other favorite, rosemary. Love rosemary. Got some brine and grill, also from In Apartments. Just a dash. And some 
chicken spice, also from in apartments. There we go. They're all av available at Spinney's and places like Carrefour. Right, from now on, no stirring. So we're gonna let this cook. Uh, put the lid on, let it go slowly over the coals. We might add some coals every now and then just to keep it cooking. So we also uh, bring in the baking pots. This particular one is uh, not just a normal cast iron one, but uh, in an enamel coated one. And this is, um, this is one that you can use for various um, various uh, items of uh, food. You can do rice, uh, desserts, you name it, anything basically. And um, yeah, you just can't go wrong with this. So while we busy doing the poiki, of course we need some rice with that. Um, so we've decided to use the Dutch oven, which Yuri has supplied. And um, yeah, just the normal way of cooking your rice, rinse your rice, add the water and voila, there we go. Right, so let's check the chicken. I'm just gonna poke it a bit, see if it's soft. It is beautiful and soft. Right, we're gonna start adding the vegetables now. I'm gonna start with the potatoes because they take the longest. Add the stuff into layers. And remember, no stirring. So we've got the potatoes in. From there, I'm gonna add the, the carrots. carrots. All of them. All of it. Because these normally take the longest to cook. We start with them at the bottom. Perfect. From there we're going to do the beans and the marrows okay. on top. Perfect. And then on top of that, the mushrooms. Right. And we're going to close this up, let it cook for a couple of minutes too, and uh, we'll check it once it's done. Right, so we have checked the vegetables, potatoes are nice and soft, and all's cooked and ready for the sauce to go in. So what I've done is I've just taken a packet of soup, mushroom soup with some oyster sauce, and we're going to be adding that in and just let it thicken up and it should be ready soon so we're going to let it simmer for 10 to 15 minutes and then hopefully it will be ready to eat soon 